99X. We are the Morning X. It's Barnes and Leslie. In case you missed it yesterday, Lisa Loeb had the flu and was not able to join us, so she will be on in a couple of weeks. But Fran, we have a two-time Oscar winner this Friday. Very excited about this. Big time. Hillary Swank will be on the show 720 in a little pre-Oscar chatter session with a winner. Who better to talk about this weekend's Oscars than someone like that? So, a little, uh, little concert coming to town with Cage the Elephant presented by 99X at Ameris Bank Amphitheater Friday, August 2nd. Remember I texted you over the weekend? I love their new song. Yeah, it's good. General tickets go on sale this Friday, 10 a.m. at LiveNation.com. But if you know your Steve's College of Musical Knowledge, you could win those today at 145 on 99X. Okay, so I wanted to take a second to try to figure out a mystery that popped up on Friday. And mm-hmm. I think we can figure this out from Celebrity Sleaze. And, you know, for, man, coming up on how many years, 20, 30 years, we've inhaled so much celebrity sleaze that I think we can figure this out. And I'm talking about Rebecca Ferguson. You mean from Dune 2, one of the stars? Yeah. How did that do over the weekend? What, what were the numbers? Oh, wow. 81.5 million, just North America. Yeah. And overall, what, like 170 million or something? Yeah. And it, I guess it doubled the first film. So doing really well at the box office over the weekend. Yeah, that's just uh, not for me. I, I just look at it. I went to the first Dune and I fell asleep within... 20 minutes. So, you know, I never watched the first one. I didn't know if you had or not. I went to the one like with Sting. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I was night night one more time. Quick. <laughs> I was I was out. But this story that broke on Friday. Yeah. When they were doing Rebecca, they were doing these interviews for Dune. And I have the audio. Let's figure out. And I think we can. Let's figure out who she is talking about. She had some not very nice things to say. And it almost sounds like she's about to say it about a co-star in the past and let's listen see if we can figure Mm -hmm. this out who she's talking about i did a film with an absolute idiot of a co-star doesn't matter who it is i'm going to try and not give this away everyone's going to be oh let's let's go through jack what's what's it called hugh jackman (laughs) no it's not Hugh. Uh, it's not Tom Cruise. Anyway, I've done many movies back in the yeah. day. But I remember there was a okay, moment. Just to eliminate those two? Yeah, she said it wasn't Tom Cruise or right. Hugh Jackman. People are going to think it's Tom Cruise because of that fit he had during COVID. Yeah, but remember? it's not him, she said. But he was yelling at workers, not cast. And it's definitely not Hugh Jackman. I've never heard a negative. Yes, I believe her there. Let's continue. And this human being was being so insecure and angry because this person couldn't get the scenes out. And I think I was so vulnerable and comfortable that I got screamed at. But because this person was number one on a call sheet, there was no safety net for me. So no one had my back. And I would cry Mm. walking off set. This person would literally look at me in front of the whole crew and say, you call yourself an actor. This is what I have to work with. What is this? And I stood there just breaking. This happens. And I remember the next day I walked on and I said, you get off my set. It's the first time I've ever spoken. I remember being so scared. And I looked at this person and I said, you can F off. I'm going to work towards a tennis ball. I never want to see you again. And then I remember the producers came up and said, you can't do this to number one. We have to let this person be on set. And I said, but the person can turn around and I can act to the back head. Wow. And I did. And I remember thinking that time, I was so scared. I feel, I feel it now when yeah. I'm saying it. But I thought, oh, it shouldn't have to be that way. Mm. And I remember going to the director afterwards and saying, what is happening? And the director said, you're right. I am not taking care of everyone else. I'm trying to fluff this person because it's so unstable. Um, and it was great from that moment, but it took so long for me to get to that. But from that moment, I have never let myself get to a point when I've got home and gone, what did I, why did that happen? She'd rather act with a tennis ball. So at first, when these comments first came out, I think a lot of people thought she was talking about somebody on the set of Dune, but no, she's mentioning something she was in over the last 10 to 12 years. Yes. And The Rock is coming to her defense. Dwayne Johnson, I guess they were in Hercules together. He said, Rebecca was my guardian angel sent from heaven on our set. I love that woman. I'd like to find out who did this. So I, th- I think we can figure this out. 
because looking Are you going at her, to her IMDb right now, I'm on her IMDb, and and this when they talk about and and just, I'm acting like you just don't know. Number one on the call sheet is the top person, so that's usually the big star. I mean, you know, one, two, three, four, of course, but they'll trickle down. And I think she said top of the call sheet, but it it's in front of her on the call sheet because sometimes if it's a female that's number one on the top sheet. On, on number one on the call sheet, I don't think she's talking about that. So I think she's that's an easy way for her to say that. You know what I'm saying? She's being kind of mysterious about it. But some of her people, you and McGregor. Well, I was looking online because now there's all these investigations going on. Somebody speculated Hugh Grant. So I, yeah. maybe you and McGregor. I have no idea. No. I'm kind of looking through her IMDb. Who I don't could it think. Be? I don't think it's you and McGregor. I don't think that it is. I mean, there are several people who just don't make sense. And again, that's from inhaling all those years. Like Chris Hemsworth, no way. No, and somebody said uh, Gustav Skarsgård. Hugh Grant was another speculation. I I mean, this goes deep. Cutting to the chase, I think it's Hugh Grant because... Oh, you do? We have seen... And that's after looking at all the leading men. Now, in the movie that they are um, that they did together, he was number two on the call sheet, but Meryl Streep was number one, and it was Florence Foster Jenkins. And I don't think, because remember, not even a year ago, we saw the story about Hugh Grant losing his shh on a set because there was some accompanying person with a younger actor that was in his eye line, and he lost it. And started berating that person. And so this behavior is something that it doesn't just go away. You know what I mean? Like if you're if you have that in you, you have it. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm I'm still searching kind of through her IMDB. She's been in a lot of movies. I know, but no no one else makes sense. Really? No one in the last ten years, and that movie right there with Hugh Grant was 2016. And you don't think it's you and McGregor? I've never heard a negative thing about him. That's just my gut. Well, you know it's going to come out because now it's out there and everyone's talking about it. Well, right. Someone else would have had to have been there on the set and, and would yeah. have said something. So, I don't know. I just thought that was really interesting. Well, she's in the number one movie in the country right now. Yeah, she's killing it. But that, I mean, that was an uncomfortable listen to hear her describe this person. And I have heard things about Hugh Grant. Public facing, he's fine, but... In other scenarios, he loses his temper, is what I've heard. And we heard that story from a year ago. So anyway. I hate to hear that because he was in my favorite chick flick, Notting Hill, with Julia Roberts. Oh, we did a breakfast with him, remember? Yes. Like a bre- a morning ex? Yes. Yeah. I wasn't there that day. It was you and Jimmy, so I didn't get to meet him in person. But anyway, I bet it comes out. And then, ooh, Rock versus Hugh Grant. That'll be an easy fight for Rock. <laughs> that should be really, really easy. This is the original. It is 99X.